I wanted to show you guys what I use when I want to use the extra glyphs and ligatures and, and fonts I have. Usually you'd go into your computer's character map. I use a program called Nexus Font. It is a character map program for Windows 10. Any earlier versions, it's not going to work. So it works just like any other character map program, but there's two big differences that I love. Number one would be the collection folders. I can easily sort and find fonts. And as you can see, I have a lot of fonts on this computer. And before, it could take me like an hour or two to find a specific type of font or enough of them to go through them. But now, if I want a script font with the extra glyphs or ligatures, I have it right here. I have my monograms, I have my basic scripts, my color fonts. It just makes it so much easier. Another big reason I like this program is the ligatures and the characters are a lot bigger to view. So I have this font chosen right here. I'm just going to right click, go down to Char Map, and it makes it, it's a lot bigger in here and the view one. So if I wanted to, I can click here, hit select, it's going to put it over here. I can just double click as well. So, and then make sure that it's, be highlighted when you go to copy, copy it. And I am going to put it into, paste it into here. So now I have these in here and I can move them around, place them where I want. One thing to remember, I, I don't know in regards to other programs, but I do know with Illustrator, when you go to paste it, you need to make sure that the font is the font name that you copied from the charm app here. If I was to try to paste it in a different font here, it's not going to work. It just does not come up. You'll get these these right here or it just it it just doesn't work. You need to make sure that you're using the font that you copied there. So see, it, it's right there. But that is definitely my favorite one. Um, or you can, you know, export as image and save it as whichever format you want to. These are your different ones, your JPEGs, your GIFs but I'd rather just do it that way. And you can see I have a lot of different fonts, even like stencil fonts. I don't have very many of those, but they are hard to find when you do need them because not all stencil fonts have the word stencils in them.